Hello, it is Monday, and the plan today is to get orders done. Uh, it's a bank holiday though, so there's no post, but well, it, uh, well, there's no post, there's no collection. Uh, so I'm going to get all the orders done, there's been a lot coming over the weekend, we've been doing the free gift with orders, so yeah, going to get all the orders ready for collection mo uh, tomorrow morning. So that is the kind of plan today, there's a lot of orders there, so that's that's what I'm doing today. And training as well, we're training, I don't know what we're doing, uh, I hope it's not leg day, because my legs are still tired from yesterday, uh, from Friday. I'm sure it'll be upper body though. Um, and then this afternoon, uh, obviously I'll still be doing orders, but uh, there's the British Superbikes is on as well. So we've got three bra athletes racing down at Alton Park at the British Superbikes. With the bank holiday, they race on a Sunday and Monday rather than Saturday, Sunday. So yesterday there was racing for Lee Johnston, but unfortunately he slid off um, three quarters of the way through the race, I think. And the rain came down, it was torrential rain, they had a, like a flash flood at the circuit. So there was riders falling off left, right and centre, and uh, unfortunately Lee, Lee was one of them. He's okay, he's fine, uh, so he'll be out today as well. But by the end of the vlog, I'll be able to give you an update of how the, the boys got on. Um, Lee, no, Lewis Rollo and Jamie have one race, which is today, and Lee's had two races, one yesterday, one today. So, yeah, I'll let you know how they get on by the end of the vlog. Um, what else? I think that's kind of it. So, also tomorrow, I don't really film, I'm not filming Tuesday, but tomorrow I've got a meeting about a talk. There's a, a company called Love Your Business, they want me to do a talk. Um, I'm not going to say when, I probably shouldn't have given away the name of the, the, the company there, but um, I'm not going to say when, but I'm doing a talk at some point, and uh, so I'm having a meeting with the owner tomorrow to go over what we're going to talk about, and then also I have a meeting with the uni, the, the uni that I went to, um, they want me to speak to the third years to give them some insights into fourth year, so that's quite cool man, to be asked to do that, so yeah, you're going to them tomorrow, which is going to be good, and then we'll have the Tuesday night check-in at night, and then the... Uh, it's a broad life group coaching call that's at seven tomorrow um so yeah it's all go it's all go uh, i'm working on the new the new booklet uh, that goes out with every order as well that's nearly finalized so that'll start going out probably in a couple of weeks time and then this weekend as well i'm going to wrap this vlog up on thursday because this weekend i went up up to fort william to see the the scottish six-day trial um Usually one of our athletes, James DeBill, he usually races, eh, rides in it. He's won it before as well, but he got injured, so he's not doing it this time. But I believe he's going to be up there, so I'll try and catch up with him as well. And uh, yeah, go more some trials, which would be cool. Right, I'm going to boost into the lab now, get started before I head to the gym, and I will see you in a little bit. See ya. It's a new week. Embrace the challenges that are lie ahead of you. And there's going to be something comes up this week that's going to knock you off your path. Life never goes the way you plan it to go, right? You can plan all you want, but things always happen. There's wee turns and twists and turns here. There's a, life's like a roller coaster, man. You just got to ride it and then make the best decisions you can. Make decisions based on your conscience. Whatever you feel is the right decision, genuinely what you feel is the right thing to do, do that. There's a lot of people make decisions trying to please other people and it goes wrong for them because you're trying to satisfy someone else's needs. Think about what you need. Think about what's going on inside your head, how you feel when it comes to making a decision, and make a decision based on that. Listen to your conscience, it makes a huge difference. Anyway, have a good one!
All right, that is Monday session done. It was upper body today, so uh, yeah, feeling good, man. Back's a wee bit tight from doing the training yesterday. Yesterday I was training in the local park. Just got up in the morning, went done some pull-ups and some dips. So uh, yeah, feeling that a wee bit, but man, it was a good session. But now going to go get some food, get wash, head back to the lab, or head back to the lab, get food, get wash, um, get orders done, and then see what the crack is with the superbikes. Keep an eye on that. Anyway, going to go just now. See you in a bit. Hello, that is Monday done. What's going on there? That's Monday done. Uh, busy day again. There's a lot of orders there, so thank you very much for your support. If you place an order over the weekend, it will go out tomorrow morning because there is no post today with it being a bank holiday. Being self employed, don't get holidays, don't get bank holidays. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, the orders go out tomorrow with the post today, but they're all ready. Um, what else? Training was good as well. It was upper body day today, so it was. Uh, Nice we change for the legs, my legs are still hurting from Friday. Um and then what else? Just kind of it man, I was kind of working on orders. Uh I got the broadcast uh, from Billy from last night. There was a broadcast with Billy and his wife last night um on Facebook and YouTube, it was live. Um I got the file and uh, the internet was just so slow towards the end of the day so I couldn't get it uploaded. I don't know what was going on, but uh yeah, it couldn't I couldn't get it uploaded, so uh, it will go tomorrow. So yeah. Um I think that was it. I do have a list of stuff to work through tomorrow. I've got a busy day tomorrow. Um, yeah, got orders. There's orders coming in still. So uh, get them done in the morning. They'll go with the post tomorrow. Uh, and then I've got two meetings. I've got that one for the uni. Uh, lunchtime, half twelve, I think it is. And then I've got one straight after about this um, speaking gig I'm doing. Um, so yeah, it's all go. And then... In the afternoon, I've got lots of stuff to work through. Uh, we're still we're building a new website as well, so uh, making progress on that. Uh, the new it's a broad life. The um, new probably story booklet that goes out by every order. Working on a new one of them. It's nearly finished. Uh, so hopefully get that to print this week. Uh, got new stickers on the way for orders as well. Yeah, we're, we're chucking a free sticker with every order, so uh, it changes every now and again. So I've got new ones on the way. Um, and then tomorrow I've got Tuesday night check-in, 6 o'clock, now I've got the It's a Broad Life coaching call at 7 o'clock. So yeah, it's a busy one tomorrow, man. It's a busy one tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to go just now and I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a good one. See ya. Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's Wednesday today uh, and today the plan is get orders done. Uh, there's a lot there actually, I need to get them done. And then we're training as well. I think it'll be leg day today. My abs are hurting from a uh, Monday session, um, doing those extensions on the rings. Um, yeah, ab extensions on the rings. They, they hurt. So, yeah, uh, my abs are a bit tender, tender today, so we'll see what we're doing. I think it's leg day. And then this afternoon, I've got a lot of stuff to do, man. Um, I want to get that booklet finished, the Broadbeard Story So Far booklet. I want to get that finished today and sent off to print. Uh, a couple of other things I'm working on as well. In fact, as we were doing the Tuesday night check-in last night, I had seven things on my list. And as we were on the Tuesday night check-in, I ended up writing other stuff down that came to my head. So I had a list of 11 things to do by the end of the call. So I'm going to sit and go through them today. That's the plan. I wrote another blog post yesterday as well. Had two meetings yesterday as well, which were really um, productive, which were really cool. One was with the university, actually, which was cool uh, to be involved there with um, students in third year. Which is, is quite cool. Um, and then the meeting after that was about a public speaking gig that I'm doing at the end of the month. So there'll be more details on that near the time. Um, oh, what else? What else? Yeah, as I say, Roblox post yesterday about uh, beard care with sensitive skin. And then today I want to write another one about wolf or beard oil. Um, yeah, part of the kind of what's in it, what's in it Wednesday series. So I want to get that done today. Um, I think that's. I think that is it. Um, my head's all over the shop because I've got so much to do today. 
But I'm going to go just now, get into the lab, get this thing on charge, and then get ready for going to the gym. And I need to get the burpees done as well. So, here we go. Knowing others is wisdom, knowing yourself is enlightenment. I like that quote because it's true. There's a lot of people who know a lot of things about so many people, but not a lot about themselves. What I'm talking about is like football teams or rugby teams or whatever. There's a lot of people, the fans of that team, that know every player, they know every goal they scored, what year they scored it, when they scored it, at what stadium they scored it, what they ate for breakfast, what they ate for dinner, who their partner is, all that stuff. They know everything about everybody else, but they know nothing about themselves. Look, time is ticking on, right? Time moves faster than you think. The clock is ticking. Do you know much about yourself? Do you know, really, do you know yourself? Like, do you know how you react to situations? If something bad was to happen, something adverse was to happen tomorrow, do you know how you would handle it? Would you be strong enough to handle it? Would your mindset be in the right place to handle it? Or would you crumble? What I'm saying is, focus on yourself before you focus on other people. I hope that helps. If you need help, hit the link. Alright, that's uh, Wednesday session done. It was leg day today. I'm going to keep this short and quick because my battery's about to run out. So I will see you in a little bit. We're heading back to the lab, get a wash, get some food, crack on my orders. See you in a bit. That is the new broadcast up on YouTube now. It's also on Spotify, Amazon, Apple, Google, all the good places. But it's with Billy and his wife, Mrs. K. It's a good one. <laughs> it's class. So yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll leave a link in the description below. So I wrote this blog post yesterday. Beard care for sensitive skin. Ways to enjoy irritation-free growth. So yeah, some good tips in there about dealing with sensitive skin and how growing a beard and how to work around it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you want to check it out. And then I also wrote this blog post today, which is about a uh, Wolver beard oil. So it's a little story on Wolver, who was a legendary uh, werewolf, half man, half wolf. But anyway, they get into the ingredients of Wolver as well and explaining why I chose them. But yeah, again, I'll leave it in the description below if you want to check it out. Hello, that is Wednesday done. Been a busy day, man. Been a lot of orders there. And then the gym was good as well. It was leg day. Uh, and then this afternoon I wrote a blog post, I actually kind of wrote two, so I wrote one for Wolver for What's In It Wednesday, and then uh, there's one that's like the timeline of Brawbeard, story so far kind of thing, so 
obviously I've, I've written that for the um, story so far booklet that's going out with the orders that's the way to production now that was my goal today really was to get that done and uh, yeah it managed to get it done it's a way to print so the timeline that's in that I was able to transfer that over to a blog post um, to you know give the updated story on the blog post as well so that's what I've done uh, but I've not made that live yet because all the text is there but I need to add photos and stuff in as well um, obviously the, the photos add more credibility I don't have all the photos in the booklet just for time and uh, for space sorry um, otherwise it'd be like a you know it'd be a mega thick book but in fact it's only 20 pages if it's just text a couple of photos here and there I like the important stuff um, but on the blog post it gives me the opportunity to put more uh, posts uh, more photos in and more links to articles and stuff like that just for social proof because there's a lot of stuff that I say and then some people don't believe it's happened so the photos are there for proof and the, the links to articles are there for proof as well so uh, yeah wrote that today um, I need to as I say add the photos in which I'll try and do tomorrow and then get that live and then tomorrow uh, be back in the gym because I'm not really around on Friday yeah, like I said earlier, we're going to go up to the six-day trial this weekend, so um, I won't really be around much on Friday. So I'm going to get the blog, the vlog done tomorrow, and get the orders done tomorrow. Obviously, I'll get them done anyway, and then get the gym done. Friday sessions get moved to tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to be burst tomorrow, but uh, it'll be worth it. Uh, I think that is it. I think that is it. Uh, yeah, kind of working on a new product as well. I kind of teased it before, but in all honesty, I wasn't that happy with how the test turned out. Um, kind of, yeah, playing about with a new product, and uh, initially it was good, and then, yeah, the more I used it, I just wasn't that happy with it. I think I can make changes to make it better, so um, working on something new there. Stay tuned. Um, but like everything, I produce stuff at high quality, so like the hats are high quality, the hoodies, the t-shirts, the beard care, the skin moisturiser, everything I try and produce is high quality. Um, obviously my name's attached to it, so I don't want to produce crap. So uh, yeah, that product is no different. Um, I want to make sure it's right before I, rele I release it. Right, I think that's it. I'm going to go and uh, chill with the family before bedtime, and I will see you all tomorrow. I don't usually film on a Thursday, but as I say, Friday's kind of off the... It's a bit different, so yeah, I'm going to move it till tomorrow. So, I'm going to go. I will see you all tomorrow. Catch you later. Oh, it is Thursday, and uh, the plan today is get orders done, and then get the vlog done. Um, I do have another blog post, like I mentioned yesterday, uh, the timeline of Broadbeard, so I'm hoping I can get that out today. That would be good. Um, so yeah, there's a fair bit to do today. I also a video recorded on ch Tuesday. Almost choked on saliva there. Uh, yeah, uh, video recorded on Tuesday. I want to get that edited and stuff, but I don't think I'll get time to do it today if I'm doing the vlog. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, also dropping this early because uh, tomorrow I've not got much time. I'll be in doing orders and then I've got to hit the road uh, for the six day trial and then uh, go and see um, yeah, the trials riding and then hopefully meet up with bro athlete James DeBille as well. So yeah, I got a busy weekend, so I won't have time to edit the vlog tomorrow. Hence why it's dropping early. I did mention on Monday as well that the boys were racing down at Oulton Park and I forgot to give the updates. So, here we go. Lee Johnson got 6th on Monday. He slid off on Sunday, but he was okay. So he raced on Monday. He uh, got 6th. Lewis Rollo got 7th in his Superstock race. Jamie Coward was also in the Superstock race and he got 22nd, which is an amazing res result for Jamie because he's a roads rider. So there's a big difference between road racing and track track racing also road racing is on public roads and the tracks also on a, a track so it's a different style of racing it's a lot more aggressive on the the tracks um they can't be that aggressive on the roads because oh are that aggressive overtaking should i say on the roads because if they clip another rider another rider goes down it's off into the the walls and the hedges and lampposts so yeah a bit more calculated with overtaking in road racing so Jamie taking that into the the track racing at Superbikes soon realised that it's a it's a lot more aggressive overtaking so he done really well getting 20 second that was amazing so yeah the next one I'm sure he'll be pushing for a top 20 so yeah that was the results for the, the guys at the weekend um, next week 
is the Northwest 200. Lee Johnson's going to be over there racing there. I don't think Jamie's going to be over. Um, and then a couple of weeks after that, they'll be at Donington for the BSB again. So yeah, it's all go, man. The racing season has started, which is class. But just now, I am going to get to the lab, get started on orders, and then hit the gym. Uh, I don't know what we're doing today, but Friday's session's been moved to today. And my legs are still a bit sore from yesterday, so we'll see how this goes. But i just got to keep going. Um, I think that's kind of it. I think that's kind of it. Anyway, right, I'm going to go. I will see you later on. Catch you later. What is going on, man? I see it all the time. There's a lot of people putting out decent content, right? A lot of helpful content, a lot of interesting content, entertaining content. There's so many interesting people out there putting out decent stuff for free, and you still get these online trolls leaving shitty comments and leaving negative comments, man. Why do people do it? If you don't like it, scroll past it. If you if you have watched it from the start to the finish, something's kept you engaged. Something's kept you there. Just leave a positive comment. Or don't leave a comment at all. But man, hype the person up. Whoever's putting out this work is putting time and effort into it for you to consume. Just like it. Just leave a comment. Thanks for the info. I'm thankful on this. I got a lot of positive feedback from you guys. So thank you very much. I'm talking about other content creators. Now, there's so many people spitting venom. Spit love, man. Hug people, enjoy life, make friends. Have a good one. That is uh, Thursday session done. I forgot what day it was there. Eh? Thursday session done. It was upper body today, so a little bit of back, chest, arms, a little bit of core, which is good. So feeling good, man. Feeling strong. Anyway, the plan now is get back to the lab. Well, I need to get some diesel in the van, get uh, fuel, get food, fuel for me, get a wash, get orders done, get the vlog done. That is the plan. Alright, so this is a blog post that I've finally written. Uh, I was hoping to get it done today and I managed to get it done. So the beard growth, 10 and a bit years of Brawbeard so far. It is a Brawbeard story uh, up to this, this point. Um, this is a bit of background on me. Uh, then how the brand got started. There's me wearing a neck brace and I having a shitty beard because this was before Brawbeard was a thing. Before I started it. Uh, as you can probably tell by that beard. It's horrendous. Uh, but yeah, it was me wearing a neck brace two weeks after breaking my back and my neck and uh, racing mountain bikes, which I shouldn't have been doing. 
you know, in reflection, probably shouldn't have done it. But I finished, where are we? 18th. 18th, 133 people. Um, but yeah, it's what started the Brobeard story. So here we are. Um, yep, Mr. Freddie D there from Limp Biscuit. Uh, there's a lot going on there. The time we were on the front cover of the magazine, the time we were up at Brewdog. Yeah, there's a lot going on. So yeah, check that out. It goes right up until the present day, really. There's a lot of stuff in there if you want to check it out. Anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, so there is only one pink hat left, one pink winter hat left, right? Um, that's the last one for this year. I may produce some in the winter. I might get new designs. I'm not entirely sure yet. But since you've made it to the end of this vlog, well, we're almost at the end, so you've given me half an hour of your time to watch this, I really do appreciate it. So I've got a little surprise for you, right? So I found some products as I was moving the lab. We obviously we moved a few weeks ago to the this new one, and I discovered some boxes with some other stock in it. So this was the last winter hat, but for your eyes only, I found some others, right? So there's one blue one there, there's one grey one, and then there's two green ones. I'm going to put them on the site right now, right? And I'll show you how to get them. I'm not going to put a link in the description below because that'll open it up for other people real this is a wee reward for looking and staying to the end of the vlog all right so if you're after one of these winter hats go check it out i'll show you in the next clip where to get them but um yeah i was going to keep them for the new website but as a, a little thank you for uh for watching to the end man i appreciate it so if you want one check this out okay they're now in the usual shop section of the website right so you go to shop and then clothing and then winter hats Click on there, click on here, winter hats, and then drop, drop the menu, you'll have the pink, the green, the steel grey, and the blue. So there you go. All right, that's Thursday done. I almost said Friday there. It's, uh, that's Thursday done, so we're dropping this early, obviously. Um, today, uh, tomorrow, I don't have the time to do the vlog, so yeah, dropping it early. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's been a busy week again with orders and blog posts as well, man. I managed to write, what, three blog posts, I think, this week. We got the broadcast up on... Uh, no, I got up on Tuesday. Yeah. But anyway, the blog posts are in the description below. Um, and so is the broadcast as well. Um, and also, you've seen there that I uh, found some hats, some winter hats that I didn't realise I had. So, uh, they're on the website now. Obviously, you're getting the first update. Um, if you want to go and get one, jump over there now. Um, there are, as far as I know, there are no other ones left. Uh, that was that box had them in it, and I've went through every other box I've got over there. And I, there's not, there's no other ones. So that's all that's left. If you want to grab one, grab one now. Um, also, how embarrassing is this, man? I ran a competition on uh, social media during the week, right, to win a ten pound voucher off Broadbeard products, and uh, no one entered. <laughs> It was simple, it was just take a selfie and use a hashtag, but no one entered. So, what I'm going to do is, I have the £10 voucher active, it's there already to be won. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is, whoever leaves the best, most entertaining comment below this video, I'm going to give you a £10 gift voucher, alright? So, uh, yeah, leave me an entertaining comment, and uh, by the time, I don't know, by the time the next vlog goes live, next Friday, I'll look and uh, whoever's left the best comment, I will choose them at random and uh, you can have a £10 off Broadbeard voucher. <laughs> I can't believe no one entered the competition. Oh man. Oh well. It's what it is. Um, Got to try these things, right? So anyway, yeah. Leave a comment and I'll, I'll, if it's funny. It makes me laugh. I'll get back to you. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of it, man. So I'm going to wrap this up just now. I need to edit this vlog, get it online. I got that... Um, so I got a phone call there, but it says spam, so get rid of that. Uh, I've still got stuff to do before I go, so I'm hoping I can get that smashed before I leave um, while the vlog is uploading. So, I think that is it. As I say, going to go up to Fort William uh, this weekend, watch the six-day trials, and uh, try and catch up with James DeBill, who's a pro athlete. Um, and I'll be back filming next week. I think it's a bank holiday on Monday again. Is it? I, I don't know if it is. I'm, I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure I've seen it on the calendar. It's a bank holiday. I don't know if it's Scotland or England or both. I don't know. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I hope it doesn't affect the post. Right. 
that is it. I'm going to go. I don't think there's any more updates uh, other than those hats, the £10 voucher. If you leave me a, a funny comment, I'll choose one at random uh, next week. Blog posts are up there. Broadcast is up there. This vlog is about to be up there. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's it. Right, I'm going to go. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate you watching to the end of the vlog. And uh, I'm glad you spent your time with me, man. I enjoy it. Thank you very much for, uh, for, for your support. I really do appreciate it. Right, I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, look after yourself. Have a good weekend, and I will see you all next week. Have a good one. See you.